Hey everybody, it's Eric from epautos.com, your libertarian car guy, and I wanted to call your attention to uh, pork undercover up ahead of me. Uh, my trusty radar detector clued me in to that very nondescript looking Ford Explorer up ahead with the very darkly tinted windows, which of course armed government workers are permitted to have. Another example of the double standard that applies to armed government workers, whereas they can hut, hut, hut us for having darkly tinted windows. Um, but at any rate, uh, look out for the Ford Explorers because lots of armed government workers are out there looking to harass and collect using these vehicles, uh, which blend in very, very nicely because there are so many crossover SUVs out there and so many Ford Explorers. It's not like it was in the good old days when, generally speaking, most cops drove either a uh, Shamu the Whale style or previous Chevy Caprice or uh, the geriatric mobile uh, Ford Crown Victoria, which was either driven by armed government workers or uh, by uh, <clears throat> by geriatrics. <laughs> government worker didn't notice that they had a new traffic pattern. Bye-bye. At any rate, so it was much easier to spot them because all you had to do was look to see whether it was uh, an old person driving the car or a young person or a younger person, somebody who didn't look like uh, they were on Social Security, in which case you were pretty sure it was an armed government worker and you could uh, adjust your behavior accordingly. But uh, I wouldn't have noticed that, uh, that Explorer had it not been for my trusty uh, V1 radar detector, which uh, squeaked and squealed. And by the way, I wish that instead of uh, squeals and beeps and all of that, that someone uh, would uh, create a radar detector that would go or uh, when it detected the presence of swine in the vicinity. So that's all I've got for now. More up at epautos.com, the web's best libertarian gearhead site. Uh, thanks as always for listening and for reading, and we will catch up with you again soon.